good afternoon and thank you for joining our earnings call we are proud with our outperformance in q3 fy24 with the achievement of highest ebitda and improvement in margins both of which were accomplished in the backdrop of strong performance in second quarter of fy24 we are pleased to inform you that our core operations have gone from strength to strength as we continue to exceed expectations by working continuously with an intent to create value for all stakeholders in q3 fy24 like we have done in earlier quarters we have improved upon our margins and have achieved highest ebitda following strong execution of orders and better marketing initiatives i will briefly summarize key financial indicators on comparison with corresponding quarter of last year that is q3 fy23 our revenue in q3 fy24 increased by 8% ebitda increased by 51% pat increased by 67% and eps increased by 62% when we do a comparison with last quarter q2 fy24 although our revenue dipped slightly however ebitda increased by 11% pat and eps both increased around 10% on account of improvement in margins on reviewing our 9 month fy24 performance versus 9 month fy23 performance revenue increased by 4% ebitda increased by 30% pat and eps increased by 56% this performance reiterates strength in our operations despite volatile macroeconomic environment and inflationary pressures our ability to control costs remains unmatched as the same is achieved without compromising production and sales apart from financial indicators there are five key points which we would like to draw attention to the first is the status of capital expenditure we had commenced our plans of capital expenditure by acquisition of land for installation of finishing facilities at our telangana unit in previous quarter we have placed order for certain equipment and are in the process of placing orders for other relevant equipment we expect this installation to be completed by december 24 We are a 100% debt-free company. We currently have liquid investments of almost 1,500 crores. I take this opportunity to communicate yet again that our treasury will only be utilized for core operations and shareholder benefit. They shall not be utilized for any other activity. In Q1 FY24, we were made part of the Morgan Stanley Capital Invest. India Domestic Small Cap Index Apart from index rebalancing we have received tremendous interest from foreign institutional investors who have increased their holding from 2.84% to 10.5% within a span of 9 months The DII and FII holding currently stands close to 15% which is up from 7% at the start of this financial year The fourth point is in relation to the market demand i wish to reiterate that capital goods and infrastructure in general and oil and gas specifically continue to witness strong demand in short to medium term this directly impacts the seamless pipes market our seamless pipes market remains buoyant driven by capital expenditure and spending in oil and gas sector as we are seeing our order book being replenished and maintained at good level our investor engagements have also improved significantly and we have represented maharashtra seamless in four investor conferences this year and expect to participate in at least two more i would now like to take you through the presentation <coughs> the first few slide detail the various activities of the company slide 5 is about the quarterly performance over past 5 quarters 
you will note a significant jump in EBITDA and PAT margin over the past two quarters. The next slide is a profit and loss comparison on quarterly basis. A key point to note here would be the reduction in other expenses that we have managed in this quarter, highlighting our strong operational performance and our ability to control costs even in inflationary environments. The next slide is about the annual performance of previous years. Slide 8 is the operational and financial performance of the company. While in the third quarter, production has been slightly lower than what it was in previous quarter, sales have been more and margins have been better than previous quarter. A nine monthly comparison of FY24 versus FY23 will clarify the improvement in margins that we have achieved along with similar levels of sales. This has been on account of better marketing initiatives by our marketing team. The next slide is about the beta mix of uh, Maharashtra Seamless. As always, uh, almost uh, 85 to 90 percent of EBITDA is from the seamless segment and that's the trend that we expect to continue. A point of interest for uh, various participants are the ICDs which remain on a declining trend. Currently they are at uh, 14 crores and will be fully realized by March 24. This was committed by us uh, over the past year and a half and uh, we are on set to achieve this. Liquid investments as on December 23 are at uh, 1,465 crores. As is apparent from the table on this slide, liquid investments have tripled over past two years. Corporate guarantee continues to reduce as was committed and uh, slide 13 updates on the same. The capital expenditure plan for FY24 to FY26 is detailed on slide 14 which uh, we've also communicated earlier. Entire capital expenditure will be from internal accruals and there will be no requirement of any debt. Order book as on 26 January 2024 stands at 1,563 crores, which is a good level. We expect margins to remain steady based on current trend of seamless prices. And uh, a few days ago, we received a contract from IOCL, which we have communicated, indicating the buoyancy in the market. There's a sales and marketing update given on slide 17. I would like to read a couple of points out uh, regarding the activity which is taking place, which will help participants understand where demand is originating from. Orders from ONGC and Oil India are being procured and dispatched rapidly as domestic demand is robust. ONGC has made significant natural gas discoveries in the Mahanadi Basin. These discoveries were made in a restricted area uh, which was opened up. New oil blocks Amrit and Munga have also been recently discovered in Mumbai offshore. Oil companies are drilling additional wells as ENP activities have increased. This has been driven due to elevated crude oil. Existing orders for drill pipes which are a value addition and import substitute substitution product are also being dispatched. We expect fresh tenders for drill pipes in FI25 as domestic market size is around 10,000 tons. I've spoken about the IOCL order which we have received a few days ago. The next slide details various marketing trends which are in place and I would request all participants to take some time out to go through slide 17 and 
flight 18 so that they are able to understand the growth which is possible in this market and our market leadership position in, in, in the same market. Slide 19 talks about uh, the key changes in the shareholding structure which I've touched upon earlier. I would now like to hand over back to Vikash and request him to open the floor for questions. Thank you, Kaushal. Thank you very much. We will now begin the question and answer session. Anyone who wishes to ask question may press star and one on their touch tone telephone. If you wish to remove yourself from the question queue, you may press star and two. Participants are requested to only use the handset while asking a question. Ladies and gentlemen, we will wait for a moment while the question queue assembles. We have our first question from the line of Jatin Dhamania from Swan Investment Managers. Please go ahead. Hi, sir. Congratulations for a great set of numbers. So I just have two questions. So basically, how is the demand for seamless currently and what would be the sustainable EBITDA per ton for the same? Because we are seeing sequential improvement. Demand for pipes is good as is reflected by our existing order book of uh, 1,565 crores. Very recently, we got a new contract from IOCL of 116 crores, which we have communicated. The margins that we are seeing, they are very good margins. Generally speaking, our margins have ranged uh, from uh, 9,000 rupees a ton to 30,000 rupees a ton. So depending on the position of, uh, of uh, the order book and the cost of raw material, uh, we, we will get the necessary margin. It is difficult to specify a number because we have short duration order books uh, of around three to four months, which is replenished on a daily basis. Okay, sir. That's it from my side. Thank you, sir. Thank you. We have a next question from the line of Ria from Equitas Investments. Please go ahead. Uh, hi. Thank you for the opportunity. My first question is how much percentage of the revenue is currently exports and uh, uh, similarly for auto book? Exports are less than 10% of total revenue. Whilst export demand has not picked up over the past uh, nine months, it has not had a meaningful impact on uh, the company because domestic demand is very good and we've been able to sustain and improve upon our margins primarily on the basis of the domestic demand prevailing. Got it. Also, in our other expenses, um, if, as the percentage of revenue has significantly declined in this quarter, uh, is there any one-off savings in cost this quarter? No. Actually, what had happened was in the previous quarter, there were certain administration and uh, selling expenses which were on the higher side, which did not happen in this quarter, as we've been able to control our costs. This would be the normal range for uh, other expenses? Yes. Got it. Also, in terms of uh, orders from Oil, Oil India and ONGC, we're seeing it around 500 to 600 levels. However, a few quarters earlier, we saw it at around 1,800 crore levels. So, uh, what kind of uh, pipeline are you seeing right now? Every year, Oil, Oil India and ONGC, they come out with tenders. So the tender that is awarded is uh, is usually a, a good size tender. Annual requirement. So it's, it's part of the annual requirement of uh, ONGC and Oil India. So when we had reported the number a few quarters earlier, as you said, we must have received the order, let's say, 20 days or 10 days prior to the date of reporting, which is why the figure was higher than it is right now. Also, in terms of uh, going forward, election is coming ahead. So, do you think the pipeline uh, or the order and flow for some time the election would be a little dry? We'll 
very short time impact. Okay. We will not see any meaningful impact. Got it. I think that's it for my side. I'll go and look for further questions. Thank you. Thank you. A reminder to all participants: you may press star and want to ask question. We have a next question from the line of Rahul Jindal from Summer Wealth. Please go ahead. Mr. Rahul, are you there? Uh, I would request you to use the handset. You are not audible. So please check now. Am am I audible? Yes. Please go ahead. Sir, I wanted to know what growth opportunity do you see as a market leader for upcoming years after enactment of this anti-dumping duty? Anti-dumping duty is in place till October 2026. We expect uh, the duty to continue going forward, considering the government's impetus towards Make in India and Atmanirbhar initiatives and the way domestic. industry is performing in the past few years sir and volume growth guidance we have uh, put out a capital expenditure plan in our presentation uh, we currently have production capacity of 1 lakh tons which is inactive at our telangana unit in order to utilize that production capacity of 1 lakh tons we are putting in a finishing line at the telangana unit once that line is in place uh, there will be an immediate improvement in the tonnage that we are able to produce okay sir thank you thank you thank you we have a next question from the line of simran bhatia from almond financial service limited please go ahead yeah thank you for you giving me the opportunity there are two set of questions i want to ask first in terms of the uh, operating margin uh, let's say in you know uh, fy25 how you know we can expect uh, it should be there uh, can you answer this first question as we have mentioned uh, earlier we maintain short cycle order books of around yes. 3 to 4 months therefore going into fy25 we will not be able to give you an assessment of the exact uh, number but generally speaking margins are good because market is good okay okay and sir uh, my second question is uh, that the you know promoter stake has you know increased to 68% from 63 in the past 2 years and and you are committed for 75% promoters so when we can expect the this to be increase any tentatively timeline in next couple of years or in next couple of months there is no fixed timeline it is okay. an interest of the promoter to increase their stake to the maximum possible level but uh, there is no defined timeline sure sir done thank you thank you thank you We have a next question from Sneha Talreja from Nuvama Wealth Management. Please go ahead. Uh, hi team, congratulations on good numbers. Uh, just one question from mine. If I look at your uh, seamless volumes uh, on a nine-month basis, uh, that seem to have declined. Uh, but despite that, I see EBITDA per ton increasing, uh, you know, substantially. uh what are the key reasons in case uh, you can highlight one of the reasons i understood was uh, savings in other expenses which was particularly for this quarter but on a overall basis what are the reasons of uh, increase in ebitda per ton the main reason for increase in ebitda per ton is the good domestic market that is uh, currently in place uh, you will note that exports started uh, declining from april onwards however our margins started to improve from april onwards compared to a situation in march when exports were good so domestic demand is good and that is a key growth driver for the company our marketing team is also befitting of our organization because they have engaged in better marketing and sales practices and another point was uh, the uh, raw material price has declined 
So our order price were uh, good, but the raw material price has declined. Just to follow up the, on that, while your raw material prices have declined, what I understand is you have back-to-back -back orders also. Uh, how did it end up benefiting you? No, uh, it, it was not fully 100% back-to-back, but uh, whatever new uh, raw material we have purchased, uh, the, that uh, the price of uh, steel was low. What percentage of uh, your raw material requirement is back-to-back uh, -back hedged? We don't uh, want to disclose that, but uh, majority of the orders that we have are supported by back-to-back -back, uh, booking of raw material, which is why uh, we are able to sustain and improve upon margins even in volatile environments. Now, I, I tell you example. Suppose today uh, we get uh, order from ONGC or Oil India at a higher price, say 1 lakh rupees per ton. So, but the steel price has came down. So, uh, this order we have uh, quoted uh, say three months back. Mm -hmm. In three months, the steel price has come down. Mm -hmm. So, we, we are booking at a lower price. I understand. I understand. Yeah. Uh, that example was helpful. Uh, just one last thing from my end. Uh, what is the current differential between, or what is the general differential between exports margin versus domestic? Uh, uh, which is a better margin business to be in? Well, almost uh, 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 we compare both the market. We we we, uh, we would like to take the same margin in the export. Uh, uh, but uh, because of uh, the export market is weak, so we are booking less quantity. Otherwise, on the margin front, both are almost similar, you mean to say? Uh, I will say if we reduce the margin in export, we can book more quantity, but we have a domestic quantity, so we are not booking exports. Understood. Okay. Got it. Thanks. Thanks, sir. Thank you. We have our next question from the line of Radha from BNK Securities. Please go ahead. Yes, sir. Hi. Congratulations on good performance. Sir, I wanted to understand um, what kind of uh, volume growth are we targeting for the next two years in both Seamless and ERW? On the Seamless front, we are putting in a finishing line at our Telangana unit. Once that is in place, we will see volume growth coming in. On ERW front, we will be producing similar quantity that we'll produce this year. So in fact, there is there is likely to be volume growth in the ERW segment in FY24 versus FY23. Yes, sir, I was asking about FY25 and 26 because really the big, uh, as, even well as it has been in FY24 for ERW. For Seamless, uh, it is a function of how quickly the Telangana finishing line will be in place. But uh, considering, considering our order book, we expect good production. Okay, so the, actually um, that Telangana line for 1 lakh tons, that will come by December 24 you mentioned. It will, so, start, it will start by, it will be completed by December 24 and start by January 24. Yeah, it will, it will affect 25-26. Uh, okay, and so what is, then uh, other than that we have 5.5 lakh tons of seamless. So what could be the max utilization that we can do with this 5.5 lakh tons? It is a function of product mix. So with the current product mix, what could be the numbers that we can achieve? We can achieve higher production, but uh, often we get uh, different size orders and our objective is to maximize profit rather than maximize production. 
ఓకే అండ్ సార్ సెకండ్లీ దిస్ తెలంగాణ లైన్ ఐ బిలీవ్ దట్ దిస్ హ్యాస్ అన్ ఎక్స్పాండ్ యూ క్యాన్ ఎక్స్పాండ్ దిస్ టు త్రీ పాయింట్ ఫైవ్ ల్యాక్ టన్స్ ఆల్సో ఇన్ ద ఫ్యూచర్ currently the capacity for the telangana unit is 2 lakh tons production capacity out of which 1 lakh tons is the finishing capacity available since there is a bottleneck of 1 lakh tons on the finishing side we are putting that up okay thanks thanks and all the best thank you We have our next question from the line of Amit Kumar from Determined Investments. Please go ahead. Yeah, hi gentlemen. Just two questions. One is, uh, you know, what would be the share of export revenues on a nine-month basis? And uh, you know, this new Telangana, uh, you know, finishing line that you are putting up. Uh, so next year uh, or uh, you know the year after do you believe that uh, you know domestic demand uh, would be sort of enough to fill that capacity or uh, would you again need to uh, you know look at export markets uh, it uh, will be looking for the export market mostly okay and what was the share of uh, you know exports as you said it started declining from april but on a nine, nine month nine basis for 9 month also less than 10% yes yes okay understood thank you that's it from my thank you we have our next question from the line of prince dharana from prompt hospitality please go ahead hi first of all congratulations to maharashtra singers uh, i have one question i just wanted to know the revenue recognition policy of maharashtra singers Uh, is it like uh, is the revenues booked as soon as the order is received or is it uh, recognized as and when the inventory is dispatched and uh, i have another question like the n- number of uh, rigs uh, count is increasing in uh, us and canada so why is the ex- uh, export dem- export orders for maharashtra singlet not, not increasing uh, so yeah so revenue recognition as per india's requirement is on basis of dispatch when we dispatch okay. the uh, pipes uh, we all right invoice. on okay. the question regarding exports uh, we mentioned earlier that if we decide to reduce prices we can get a lot of export orders but uh, okay our objective is to maximize profit uh, rather than any particular segment and domestic demand was more so to meet the domestic demand so we have booked less order in the export perfect perfect thank you so much and congratulations thank you thank you thank you we have our next question from the line of saket kapoor from kapoor at Kam- kapoor company please go ahead namaskar namaskar uh, kaushal ji namaskar dindu saab sir firstly uh, if we take the volume number uh, for the last year in terms of for the simlet in particular uh, we did 431 of production 431000 and uh, 436 as our sales and uh, as of now uh, we are slightly lower uh, in terms of the run rate we have done 302 for simlet so what should be the probability taking into account the shorter duration order books we have what should be end the year sir on top of 436 sales volume which we have done for fi23 sir in uh, in uh, fi23 as you said we have uh, dispatched 436000 mm-hmm. we were uh, we were uh, mm-hmm. targeting uh, a higher uh, a higher level or similar level in fi24 however we have got some uh, good value orders and uh, there was also maintenance in one of our facilities which is why uh, production and dispatch has been lower uh, if you if you take an average of our performance in 9 months and extrapolate it we think we'll get that level of tonnage however uh, i would also like to point out that despite a uh, slightly lower level of tonnage in fi24 versus fi23 you will see that uh, uh, our profit uh, that we have been able to generate in the past 9 uh, months is 
slightly less than the profit that we have been able to generate in the past 12 months uh, in the in the 12 months of FY23. Yes, sir, that is clear. I, I was just trying to understand whether the current order book also uh, will, it, will it translate into higher tonnage or is, is it the similar type of orders which we have executed in Q4, Q3 that would percolate going ahead for Q4 also? If you could give some color on that. So that similar, even on lower tonnage, yeah. So we've, uh, uh, what we have done in the first nine months, if you can extrapolate that on pro rata basis, then that is what we'll likely to achieve slightly better than uh, the pro rata levels. That is what we okay. believe. That is the volume part, sir, you are mentioning? Yes, sir. On the volume part. And, and also on the margin part also, sir, since you have the low duration order books and you know the, the current uh, raw material uh, basket also shaping up, so uh, extrapolating these two factors, uh, uh, do they give the same color uh, mix uh, if we take the nine-month average? We can come to a conclusion that margins will be in this band? Well, <clears throat> let me tell you, the uh, our uh, seamless uh, EV, EV data was 30,000. Yes, sir. So it's very difficult to maintain 30,000. But uh, we will certainly be... Uh, so averaging out, uh, uh, say, 20,000. I'm not talking about the uh, uh, quarter four. Quarter four order booking is good, but in next year, we will be aiming at 20,000, not 30,000. 30,000 is quite high, EV data. So just to harping again on it, sir, we did nine month average at 27,137. Nine months, okay. Yes, nine months average is twenty-seven one three seven. So go, going at do it, do it see, do does looking at your the status of the order book that uh, can we look forward for two seven one three seven to average out for the full year or even now the the mix is over. Nane, job ke evaluated segment says wo execute ho chuke hain and going at we are expecting the lower uh, EBITDA pattern for the fourth quarter. Quarter, uh, this quarter, of course, the order booking is at a good price, so uh, I don't. I, I think we can maintain this. This uh, two seven number can be maintained. Yeah. Oh, okay, but for next year, you are saying that it will be difficult to sustain this number. That's, that's right. That's, that's right. Okay, sir. So, but what has, sir, what has led to this the mane, this special order book, my uh, evaluated segment, my sir, ye kya? इसी छोटे काल के लिए ये कार्यखंड के लिए ही है और उसके बाद ऐसी ऑर्डर वापस नहीं आएंगे सिस्टम में व्हाट इज द स्पेशलिटी ऑफ द आई टोल्ड यू द मार्केट वाज बाउंसिंग एंड द प्राइसेस वर हाई एंड मीनवाइल द स्टील प्राइस गोइंग डाउन सो वी हैव गोट द डिफरेंस डिफरेंशियल बेनिफिट करेक्ट या करेक्ट जी सर समझ गए Sir, uh, if we look at it also for the rigs part, I think so, uh, as uh, earlier Patilman also mentioned that the rig count has also improved and I think so, in your other company, the uh, last you have put rig charter rate, pe hai, that is significantly higher. So, uh, outlook for uh, the one rig that Maharashtra seems to hold also looks promising going at, I think so, one year is now left, one and a half year for this to get de charter. What should be the trajectory going ahead uh, with rig rig uh, business uh, in MSL, if you could give some color. Uh, now the price is around 40,000 per day. So we expect the new rate contract uh, uh, more than 80,000. 80,000. And this will be continuing, uh, we will continue with the rig business as uh, in the opening you have mentioned that unrelated segment other than seamless segment we know we won't be investing uh, further so we will continue with this uh, rig proposition we will have to these two verticals uh, going ahead also well we have to take the appropriate uh, decision at the uh, right time at the at the right time yeah right correct, correct. and sir, lastly sir about uh, the shareholder well there has been a tremendous shareholder value creation that has happened over uh, over the last two years and I think so, sir. Now, uh, depending on the and the cash flow and also on your uh, capex, we we were looking forward for a, a, a different distribution policy or the returning of cash uh, uh, back to your investors. So, uh, 
so when can we hear something concrete uh, on the on the same sir and where are we sir in midst of this thought process i think so uh, this, uh, this has been a long pending request from investors so sir abhi hum aap iske liye hame kya margination dete hain sir we are looking for a good opportunity for expansion if uh, that is not there certainly we have to give it to the shareholder correct ठीक है सर मैं ज्वाइन द क्यू अगेन सर थैंक यू एंड ऑल द बेस्ट सर एंड कॉन्ग्रेचुलेशन फॉर फॉर सेट ऑफ थैंक थैंक यू यू सर और रिमाइंडर टू ऑल पार्टिसिपेंट्स यू मे प्रेस स्टार एंड वांट टू आस्क क्वेश्चन वी हैव आर नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम द लाइन ऑफ विवेक चतुर्वेदी और शेयर होल्डर प्लीज गो अहेड सर माई क्वेश्चन Yes, sir. We have our next question from the line of Mr. Vikas Singh uh, from Philip Capital India. Please go ahead. Hi, sir. So I just wanted to understand the, our uh, hot meal upgrade in Nagothane, which we planned for 350 crore. Uh, how? Uh, what are the benefits we will derive out of it in terms of tonnage or the cost savings? If you could give us some idea about this. प्रेजेंट कैपेसिटी इज जस्ट वन सेकेंड विकास या इट विल गिव टू बेनिफिट वन इज कैपेसिटी इंक्रीज एंड द सेकेंड इज द क्वालिटी ऑल्सो विल बी बेटर सो कैपेसिटी विल बी अराउंड वन लैक टन More production. So So effectively, we will 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 become ton ton of 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 the 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 of of the of the of the the of of the of the of the of the there will be so better utilization will lead to economies of scale within the existing capacity sure 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 that's all from my side operator if you have any other uh we have a next question from the line of ankush tawaria an individual investor please go ahead uh good afternoon sir congratulations on a good set of number Uh, sir my question is that according to the presentation uh, you have shown that your capex and your working uh, capital would be taken care of by the money that you have in liquid assets as of now uh, that would be in a span of next 2 years by by then you will also uh, accrue cash in terms of net profit so what are you thinking of doing of the extra money that you will uh, generate in next year near year or two yeah we will see the any opportunity if uh, it comes uh, in the pipe segment so we'll take over the company or uh, we'll expand in uh, those lines so do you uh, have anything uh, in uh, in eyesight or you are just hoping to have one we are just hoping so sir wouldn't be great that uh, you can uh, increase the dividend uh, next time so that the investors can also benefit from it certainly we we are working for investors only okay and one more thing sir uh you have already split your shares but still i feel that the liquidity in trading on your shares is very less so do you uh, have you any do you have any consideration to split it further split yeah because right now what hap- is happening is that uh, maybe, while maybe, we maybe at uh, 2000 level okay at 2000 <laughs> <laughs> and my last question is sir uh, repeatedly you have said that the promoters are eyeing to increase their uh, share uh, do you still have it in mind or 
it is become very difficult to do that now increase what increase your uh, promoter promoter share yeah, yeah. because we, yeah certainly we, we we have plan for going for 75 percent but the uh individual but again, will... again you say the the liquidity in the market will be less than <laughs> yeah that is what i'm saying that right now it is only 17 percent with the uh individual investor right. and if in case you improve by increase by seven percent so total will be left is 10 percent for individual investors That's right so you will have to find some other way out i think correct correct okay sir congratulations on a great set of numbers sir. you are doing great thank you thank you sir we have our next question from the line of bhavin cheda from enam holdings please go ahead uh yeah congratulations to the entire team for excellent performance both on the number side and on the balance sheet side uh, so few questions uh, first uh, on the uh, order book if you are what we have been seeing for last 6 uh, to 8 quarters is normally the order book uh, number is uh, up to one quarter or four months of sale as compared to two to three years back when ongc particularly used to give a visibility of almost a year or so so um, wh- what's your uh, take on this do we see this will continue and your order book visibility will continue to remain at three to four months or any long gestation orders are also in the side because your presentation also mentioned that ONGC has two to three discoveries, so they will be having a long-term program on drilling and all that. Then why do they uh, do short gestation orders? So earlier, few let's say till before uh, 2020, ONGC used to come out with long duration orders uh, in which they would uh, issue tender for requirement of over the next year that has changed since then now ongc comes out with lower value orders for lower duration this has been in place for the past uh, three three and a half years and uh, going forward uh, we expect uh, good orders to come in because uh, we are one of only three participants in the market and we are the market leader Okay, so you expect the short duration orders to continue, particularly from the ONGC side? Yes. Okay. Uh, second thing on the uh, margins, obviously, uh, last few quarters we have seen exceptionally very good margins, but not sustainable on long-term basis. Historically, your margins used to be fourteen, fifteen thousand rupees a ton. So, what is what can be the new normal now? One is uh, depending on how the grades have changed over last two years, and your uh, overall sales mix includes some value-added component. Also, taking that into consideration, what can be the new normal? So, we've had margins ranging from. 8000 rupees a ton to 30000 rupees a ton in the uh, third quarter uh, it is difficult to specify a number because it is a function of the selling price and the price of steel at any given point in time but generally speaking margins are expected to remain good because market is good and we are a market leader great great Thank you. Thank you and best of luck. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. We have our next question from the line of Vinay Nandkarni from Hathway Investments. Please go ahead. Yeah. I have just two questions. One is on uh, uh, you had said oil and gas is contributing to how much of your uh, total requirement and uh, I mean how much of your production is consumed by oil and gas and how much is by other sectors. Because we have been talking of oil and gas growth, is there any growth happening in other sectors also? Yes, uh, our contribution to oil and gas, uh, ra- sorry, rather than contribution, our exposure to oil and gas sector is uh, around 70%. The other segments that we cater to are uh, boiler segment and uh, general engineering. Uh, we we see good demand 
in the boiler segment as well because those pipes are used in the power sector as well. Okay. And the second question is on uh, your ERW margins per ton have keep kept going down compared to last year. Any particular reason? ERW figures which are reported, they are actually a function of two different types of ERW pipes, one for the water sector and one for the oil sector. Depending on the type of ERW pipe which has been dispatched, uh, the margin for the quarter is determined. Okay, so, so for the last nine orders, months... Oil sector orders are uh, higher margin than water sector orders. Okay, so the last nine months you have been uh, more of water sector product, is it? It's a mix of both. Okay, and last question on capacity utilization. Uh, once you get your 100,000 ton capacity addition in uh, December 24, uh, what is the current capacity utilization? Are we above 90% or something? And how will we use that additional 100,000 tons that will come in? In, in terms of tonnage, we are at 70-75% uh, level. However, that is uh, not a accurate way to look at capacity utilization because if you take a situation where the production facility manufactures small size pipes versus an exact situation where the production facility manufactures large diameter pipes, then at the end of the day, at the production facility where you manufacture large diameter pipes, you will see higher tonnage versus the other situation where you will see lower tonnage. So, if you if we measure capacity only in terms of tonnage, then uh, it will it will not be accurate. Uh, a good way to look at it would be in terms of meters of pipes uh, manufactured. Maybe at a later point in time, when we have necessary data available, we'll start denoting capacity in terms of meters of pipes uh, that we can make because that is then not influenced by the size of the pipe. Right now, we believe we are operating at very high capacity utilization uh, levels. Uh, however, that is not reflected uh, because of the uh, size issue, the product mix that is in place. And and the uh, hundred thousand tons that gets added, uh, you will have orders to consume that as well at seventy seventy five percent. Yes, we want to target the export market primarily for that. Okay, thanks a lot. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. We have our next question from the line of Vignesh Ayer from Sequent Investments. Please go ahead. Uh, thank you for the opportunity, sir. Uh, my question again comes on the the total. Uh, liquid plants that we have uh, in our hand. Uh, since uh, there is no serious, can uh, you know uh, look out for a, a company to you know purchase outright purchase or uh, you know and uh, secondly uh, with so much cash our ROEs are getting impacted and dividend paying dividend you know uh, eventually the uh, the investor has to pay tax at thirty percent right. And also the promoter is quite interested in increasing the uh, stake. So uh, you can at you know current uh, uh, cash level easily go for a five percent of your total uh, float as a buyback. I mean with no promoter not participating, automatically their stake will increase to almost seventy seventy one percent. So why is the uh, management as of now not considering it? I mean it is uh, helpful in every way, right? The, all your attributes are going to improve on the financial uh, point of view. So, when you make the statement that there is no serious effort in place, I take issue with that statement. That is not the case. We are actively on the lookout for opportunity. But we cannot create opportunity out of thin air just because uh, one doesn't exist. When we make that statement, please note that United Seamless was an acquisition which we identified and that generated significant benefit for the company. We have also put in a lot of effort to look at other assets such as ISMT and OCTL, but they did not materialize for no fault of the company because there are other factors in place which are beyond our control. As of now, we have enough cash for such an opportunity and we want to conserve that cash going forward because we are taking a long-term view 
rather than a short term view of just uh, trying to improve market capitalization what we believe is if we take a long term view and we are able to set up more manufacturing units at a price uh, that is comfortable for us and is inherent of our competitive advantage then we'll be able to generate long term sustainable shareholder value creation thank you for the detailed uh, uh, explanation uh, on the uh, and yeah surely uh, united similar was uh, one of the very uh, brilliant acquisitions i would say because uh, the ebitda per ton etc that generates from the product is quite high uh, also uh, sir on uh, on this 1 lakh capex uh, 1 lakh ton capex that is going to kick in by december uh is the uh, product anything different from uh, uh and each of the product different from what we are doing right now no it is the same product some heat oh. treatment facilities will be there okay. well. some uh, value addition I, I, products will also be there uh, in addition to our existing product okay 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 got it got it yeah thank you uh, uh, that's all from my side all the best sir thank you thank you ladies and gentlemen that was the last question for today i now hand the conference over to mr vikas singh for closing comments over to you sir on behalf of philip capital i would like to thank maharashtra seamless management for giving us the opportunity to host the call now i hand over the call to the management for the closing comment thank you vikas over to you thank you vikash for organizing the call and uh, for covering maharashtra seamless we appreciate your efforts specifically and uh, we thank all shareholders for participating in the call we request you to kindly go through our presentation in detail so that you are able to understand the company better i would also like to thank mr jindal chairman for taking time out to participate in the call <clears throat> we are focused on a on a set path which uh, we have internally decided and uh, we want to continue on the path because we have been able to create value for everyone involved thank you investors thank you vikas thank you thanks sir. on behalf of philip capital india private limited that concludes this conference Thank you for joining us and you may now disconnect your lines.